YouTube and welcome to your second introductory to assembly tutorial. Last tutorial we learned how to convert um, decimal to binary. So um, let's just do that real fast. Let's do a number. But first let's write down our data table. Equals uh, 0 equals 1. 2 1 equals 2. 2 2 equals 4. 2, 3 equals uh, 8, 2, 4 equals 16, 2, 5 equals 32. And we're going to do a big number because I have faith in you guys. Let's do 89. Okay, so, um, oh, one more because this is going to be kind of a big one. 2, 6 equals 64. First thing. 64 obviously goes into 89, 1. Our, num our new number is now 25. Does 32 go into 25? No. Does 16? Yes. That's going to leave a 9. So we're going to put a 1. Um, oh, sorry. It's still going to be 25. Okay, so now we have a 9. Okay, now does 8 go into 9? Yep, we have a 1 left. Does 4 go into 1? Nope. Does 2 go into 1? Nope. Does 1 go into 1? Maybe. I'm just joking, yeah. Okay, so and then if you wanted to, you could minimize that. Calculator. And then if you wanted to check, 1. No, we three on binary. Okay, so clear. One o one one o o one equals eighty nine. Okay, so we learned about that. What about hexadecimal? Um, here's the one thing. Instead of you know ten zero um ten one or or um you know ten two. You know, after we learned that, we learned 2, 0, and so on. That's for binary. Um, you know, you, you get it. Hexadecimal, and this is where your math is important, is 16. 0 equals 1. You know, 16, 1 equals 2. Or, you know, just joking, 16. Now, um, you know, let's just make our data table real fast. Equals two two um no two hundred fifty six. Sorry. So let's get rid of this, right? And if you want, you can title your notes. In fact, from now on, we're going to title notes. All right. And then I'm going to upload these notes. Hexadecimal. All right. So. There's our basic hexadecimal. We don't really need to go higher than that for now. You basically know, you know, you can go on forever. How are we going to do this? Um, let's make a number 780. Oh, big number, right? Um, what's the biggest number that can go in there? 256. Now you're probably tempted to say, okay, I got this. One. Now 780 minus 256 is um, 514. There's actually something else you gotta do. How many times does 256 go in whole? Well, let's see, we have our 514, so that's, um, you know, one, and it can go in again. So, um, that's gonna be, let me think about it. Let's pull out our calculator, because we're really stupid people. Okay. A 514 minus um, 256 equals 258. And you can even do that again. So you have 1, and then you have 258. You go in one more time. So, and then you're going to be left with 2, right? However, instead of having 111, since 256 goes into this 3 times, you're actually going to have a 3. And 
since 16 doesn't go into 2, I'm going to have a 0. And then since 1 goes into 2, 2 times we have a 302. Confusing? Well, let's just make sure we're right. 302 equals 770. Okay, we probably did our math wrong. We probably, um, we were probably done something wrong. Hold on, let me just see. 780, 258. So then let's see how far we were. Um, 780 equals in hex 30c. Okay, um, decimal clear. Um, maybe we done something wrong. 14 minus 256. What was that again? Okay, minus 256. Yeah, um, that should be it. Maybe 780 minus 256 equals, ah, okay, so there we go, 524. Huh. I'm great at math. So that's going to be a 260, and then that's actually going to be a 12. Now you're probably thinking, okay, 12, just write that as 1, 2. And hex a, okay, let me write this real fast. Let me just um, make a note. In binary, there's two digits. There's zeros and one. And remember, your base too, you know that. In 10, you have zero, one, through nine. And it's base 10. Notice that there's no 10 or there's no two, right? You know, 10, five, whatever. And what makes a decimal? You have 16, which means it's zero, through 16? No. It's actually 0 through 9 plus A, B, C, D, F. And make this table real fast. Basically what this is, is it allows us to not be confused with having a 1 and a 0. Instead of representing 10 with a 1 and 0 where the number completely changes, you represent 10 with an A. You represent 11 with a B. C, you know, D, E, F, F. So that equals 10, that equals 11, equals 12, equals 13, equals 14, equals 15. Uh, I'm going to do a practice problem real fast too. So, 31, 2, that's going to be 31, C. Because remember, 12 is C. And as you can remember, if you go here, um, 780 to hex is 30C. And then that way, you know, that's pretty easy. Next tutorial, we're going to be um, doing a practice problem. In fact, actually, let's do one real fast. Um, 65, this will be a great one. How many times does 16 go into 65? Or um, let's do 63, that would be a better idea. 63, Six 16 goes into 63 two times, you can check, no, three times. So first time is going to be three, and you're going to have a 15 as a remainder. One goes into 15 how many times? Or, uh, you know, one goes 15 times. F equals 15. So if a number for 63 equals three F. You could check that. Um, three, uh, oh, hold on. Okay, clear. 3F equals 63. Boom, done. That's your real quick tutorial. Next, we'll be learning how to convert easily from binary to hexadecimal. Okay, and see you later.